But yeah, I love the fact that it's still in there. Yes, I rolled 255 dice. Why are the 20s in green? I guess it just puts the, the max rolls Did you in roll green. the 20s? Yeah. Uh, max yeah. rolls are green, lowest rolls are one uh, red. Okay, now that this game has anything to do with that. This game isn't that exciting. This is Mad Cat. Screwball cartoon roleplay where I'm the lovely and talented Norman Rafferty. And I am the host today. And let's see, we're going to be joined today. Uh, well, let's go left to right. Hey, Griffin, what are you playing today? Why I'm playing Wilford Waffle, a uh, terrifying but also lovable uh, scapegoat. Yes. Let's see, their was... catchphrase is that I have nothing to fear but myself. And, and your gimmick is also that you're um, uh, a monster. Yes, indeed. Adopted, half monster, incredibly disfigured, but nobody notices. Uh, no one takes you seriously. Speaking of no one takes you seriously, uh, Teth, you're playing Jordy today? I am Jordy Burrell, yes. Be self-aware. I made this world. Um. Yeah, and so your gimmick is that you're self-aware. So your character is you're self-aware, and your gimmick is that you've got match guard, right? Yep. I drew the world, and now I'm stuck in it. And now I draw in it. Uh, and we're also joined by Triple H. Woo! It's going to be some... Wait, you're not Triple H. Who the hell are you? Uh, it's E-H-H. Ah! Uh, you have the Triple H, like, Time Store knockoff. <laughs> I... <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I'm I'm Alec, the Smarty Pants Burkoy. My gimmick is Paranormal Investigator. Yeah. So, um, yes, and all of you guys live in Elderberry Junction. Uh, sure. Where? Hmm? Nothing. Just throwing out things. Just throwing out random things. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, just throwing out random things here. So, yeah, and all three of you live in Elderberry Junction, the uh, city uh, uh, in Ruckerberg, uh, or the borough of Ruckerberg, where it's surrounded by mountains on all sides, and the sky is uh, green that matches the gray of the sea, uh, and everything is forlorn hope. But I believe that Alec is actually a famous uh, private investigator now, because you're the one who solved the mystery of the Phantom of the Park. Why, or yes. Phantom of the Stadium. Why, yes. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I guess you set up your own investigative place. I guess you hang out with Wilford and Jordy because no one else wants to. Pretty much. Well, I mean, as always, I'm just creepily in the background of every shot. So I believe you're required to have a guardian watching over my actions. <laughs> yeah, the state, uh, you know, has mandated that Wilford is to be <laughs> not to be unattended. You okay. see a little Wilford, please report it to the front desk. Um, all right, so uh, I guess, Alec, you just run your little private investigator place where you just wait for people to come by for, like, strange investigations. I think we already went over this. People come by and ask you to deal with their, you know, giant arcs that the projectiles fall, and you say, no, that's a parabolic investigation. I think I'm running out of puns here. Hold on, we can figure this one out. Guy's gonna help me out here. I'm trying. I think there were some people who wanted to ask you to help them uh, with their island uh, fantastic getaway. Uh, but that's a paradise investigation, so that does also doesn't apply to you. Some people come by, help them uh, check on their grammar and spelling. Turns out that's a paragraph investigator. Uh, yeah, definitely not that. I have to change your card to say no, comma, money down. And, and they, and they wanted me to see this, uh, uh, let's see here. And they wanted to see me, uh, what is, and they wanted to, and they wanted me to review this, and they wanted me to review this, uh, let's see here, this movie, 
movie about someone who can see ghosts and stuff, but I said that was a paranormal investigator. Paranormal investigator. A paramount <laughs> investigator. Well, they can't all be gems. There we go. Paramount best. Hey, that's my line. Da da ba da da. It's almost as if the script writes itself, which really I don't know why we even have Jordy. In fact, you know, Jordy isn't really you know isn't really a main character. Maybe he's just one of those characters who gets killed. Well, you are trying to kill me after I made you a character in the world. Uh, what have you done for me lately? I won the big game. Or inspired is... the team to win the big game. I, no, I say I erased the name before we started. That wasn't you, that was Raul. Everyone knows that was Raul. Raul's dead. I remember Coach Raul fondly, even as he died mid-game while also coaching. <laughs> Do I remember you assumed his identity. That was Coach Raul that won the game. Eh. <laughs> he gets all the... <laughs> In fact, this business has been slow since uh, Mayor Zane declared a National Day of Mourning in remembrance of Coach Raul. <laughs> and the only business has been the, uh, you know, the little kids coming from uh, PS 238 to come by to get money for the build the Coach Raul Memorial. But yes, there will actually be uh, uh, a shadow will fall across your door, and it will, uh, Alec, and it will actually be a mysterious woman. Uh, she has um, a uh, she has long flowing hair, a red trench coat, and a red hat that conceals her face. Ooh, mysterious! Yes, she'll open. You know, she'll stride inside. Look about her with an air of mystery and speaks. She says, I'm looking for a paranormal investigator. <sighs> Good, but where's that wind coming from? What wind? Uh, I just, uh, I see her hair, you know, flowing breezily, you know, like Pocahontas, even though there's no, <laughs> even though we're indoors. I'd look at you disapprovingly, but that would be exposing my eyes. Which I don't do, as I am a woman of international intrigue and mystery. Carmen? How did you know? Well, yes, my name is Carmen Redbox. I am the heir to the Redbox movie fortune. That explains the attire. Oh, Dredd, I thought it was somebody else. I've been looking for her for a very long time. <laughs> uh, <g> <laughs> well, she's That's probably somewhere silly. else in the world. I think they're rebooting that, but this reboot doesn't matter. No, I need your help, as my entire Red Box Empire is in jeopardy. Really? Huh. Yes, I hope I can yeah. trust uh, you in confidence. Yes, there's a problem that apparently, um, when people rent one of our movies, uh, they die within seven days. Which one is it? And I then they don't return it. Yeah, they also don't return it, which accrues fees. But which one is it? I don't know. I've brought here our catalogs, and if you can help us, which is why I need an investigator. And she'll slam this giant, like, thousand-page binder on your desk. Your desk quivers under the weight. It could be any of the numerous exciting and wonderful titles that we offer at Redbox. Good. Uh... Hmm, maybe it's one of the direct-to-DVD stuff. Possibly. I don't hear people, like, going to the movies and then dying seven days later. Or, or maybe I do, but that's too depressing for a kid's cartoon. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't know which movie title it is, so I need you to find out what it is so we can remove it from the catalog. I can't just... I can't just remove a title from our catalog arbitrarily. No one stands for that when their favorite movie delivery service just removes titles. Right, but I uh, thought we were talking about Redbox. Well, Redbox, everyone's favorite movie delivery system. Pause for effect. Well, I mean, after the recent changes in uh, costs starting next month, I'm sure it will be. Yes, the new changes in cost now only available for uh, three ninety nine per rental. Smile at camera. Yep. 
Including oh, the entire back. That? Oh, I was having more fun at the $13 increase on Netflix. Or increase to $13. Oh, wow. So, I... yes. Yeah, so your investigator needs you to find out why people are dying when they rent a certain movie title and what's causing it, and then stop it. Will you take my case, Alec? Well, of course I will. Excellent. I think it's probably supernatural in origin, as I've tried every natural solution I can. Are you willing to cover popcorn expenses? Um, uh, it's not that kind of move. The experience will well, We're red box, so only microwave popcorn. Ah, uh, that's mm, that's okay. And Wilford will just kind of like look down a little bit. Uh, sadly. Wow. Even Wilford won't eat microwave popcorn. What's... He's not allowed near one anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't following there for a second. <laughs> no, he's not lying. I can just see how Wilford just looks off to the sky with an expression on his face, having a private flashback that we didn't animate. Well, I need you to solve the case soon, because if you don't solve it within seven days, someone else will die, and it'll be on your head. Uh, she wait. says, pointing at Alec. Well, we wait. totally take responsibility for all deaths, that's for sure. I don't. Uh. Can, can you sign this document to that effect, Mr. Waffle? Oh, sure. I'll, I'll do the sanditory uh, blood signature. Excellent. Can you write Alec's name in here, too? So, since you uh, have Oh, totally. Uh, all right. Uh, Thank wait, you. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The contract is sealed. And there'll be a lightning flash, even though it's a completely fine overcast day. You have seven days, Mr. Alec Paranormal. That is your name, right? It says right here, Alec Paranormal. Uh, actually, it's... Uh, actually, it's... Paranormal is his middle name. Yeah, my middle name. My... Your last name is Investigator? And then you became Investigator. Wow, what were the odds of that? Paranormal hey. Investigator, Alec Paranormal Investigator. I, I, I just give up. <laughs> Man, the, par the paragraph lobby is pretty, pretty powerful right here. All right, and so, armed with only the back catalog, your investigative skills, and Wilford, um, you have to solve the mystery of why people are dying after watching Redbox movies. Okay, let's... I as well get cracking. Uh... I call the couch. We're watching them all, right? No, we're watching movies. Sure, all the movies. Uh, no, no, no. Let's. Uh, I look at the catalog. First. Oh yeah, that is. Uh, yes, uh, Carmen Redbox did leave you a Redbox All Access VIP Unlimited Binge and Purge Pass. It's it's all the movies you can watch for free, as well as all the popcorn you can eat. Okay, maybe I sh maybe I should check. Uh, you know, records. You know. <laughs> Records, you know, see see if there's any pattern for the with the people that died with the move with the movies. Maybe there's a genre that's making them kill. What what skills do you have useful in going through um, movie catalogs? Steaming. Uh, that would be the best skill. Why don't you go ahead and roll that? Uh, Wilfred, I guess, is going to be on the couch and start watching bad movies. Yeah, yeah, it's sharp. It's sharp, you know, and. Probably I'm ready people. for a 287,000 hour binge watching uh, marathon, that's for sure. But that'll turn your brain to goo. Ah, well, little do you know, I have no brain left to turn to goo. Five. Hey, oh, wait, 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 I'm at seven. You are at seven, because you're actually good at this. Yeah, either give up or choose something or get you a complication. Okay, let's see here. Uh... Oh. Up, I do. Tr I do look through all the records and you know try to find a, a correlation. So you uh, obviously get out the cork board and start putting uh, um 
start putting the um you know the twine i never really understood that does that actually help anybody well i mean if you have a lot of interconnected uh clues and they don't really connect to anything it might help to stare off at them and maybe things will connect in your brain that weren't Same immediately like... you know visible to you when you weren't paying or you're paying too close attention to one thing it's definitely a very theatrical and dramatic way of doing it, but I mean, like, you may as well, like, take someone's picture and then, like, draw a line from A to B and, like, this guy knows this one, and this one supplies this guy. Well, no, if you're no, drawing I'm using it in, like, criminal investigations to create networks. No, no, I just look at, okay, okay, who, okay, okay, they died this day, let's see what movie they were did that day, that kind of thing. Okay, so you'll start doing that. Wilford's on the couch, what's Jordy going to do? I would like to call in one of my good friends to try and help. Um, you have friends? Well, I have acquaintances that I've met along the way. Well, hey, Barbara Streisand is a good friend of mine. I already established this. <laughs> what skills do you have useful in calling up friends to help you with stuff? Genre savvy. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a roll? And remember, I have a complication with mine. Yes, you do. Let's see. Either give up or choose from below and get a complication. I would like to draw in or drop the name of a celebrity or other cartoon character. And they walk into the scene. And I would like to bring in the draw cartoon representation of the ring girl. Don't worry. I'll just call in that ring girl. So you go she over to the... enforce copyright. She might have some so information about people dying in seven days after a movie they watched. So so you'll like push you know, walk in front of Wilfred Bush trying to watch the TV and just flip channels, flip, 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 flip. Ah yes, here we go, the ring channel. <laughs> and then boosh. Come on, oh. get out of here. Yeah, she'll come out walking on all fours and says, Yes. It, it's me, a uh, Japanese anime scary girl with hair in front of my face. I'm easy to draw and easy to animate. Don't have to uh, pay money for people to operate the mouth. Just You're not going to pin shot. this one on me. It's not me killing all those people. No, Ever I just thought you might have had some insight. Expertise. Well, uh, whoever's doing it is horning in on our turf. We're the ones who are supposed to be, like, you know, spreading. But, yeah, ever since those days of all this copy of Video Gazette and share it, everybody, now everything's viral on the internet. No one has a space for us spooky VCR girls anymore. Uh, you're right. A haunted YouTube video just doesn't have the same uh, tone to it, does it? Let you in a secret, kid. All YouTube videos are on it. Ah, oh, darn straight. But it's so diluted that they don't kill you. Uh, they, you know, they just, you know, uh, they, they just ruin your life and rot your brain. Ugh, algorithms. Can't make any money anymore from videos that kill people. They want videos that draw in eyeballs. Speaking of which, I need yours. And she reaches out to grab Jordy's eyeballs. I'll dodge away from that one. Uh, what skills do you have useful in not having your eyeballs removed? Uh, I mean, I could use Meta, give her somebody else's eyeballs. You could use Meta and give her someone else's eyeballs. Go ahead and roll. That's still a crack wise and avoid harm. Yeah. Fortunately, I brought a jar of eyeballs just for this occasion. I think not. Oh, I'll get you yet. But, wow, really convenient you carry dismembered body parts around with you, Jory. Well, there's people trying to kill me all the time. Anyway, so Spooky Girl's gonna ask, why is your, what's your friend over there doing all that twine and bulletin board stuff? I think it's an arts and crafts project. Oh. I don't get art. Well, no, you live in a well. It's pretty dark down there. That's so discriminatory dark, language. It's so dark, you won't need your eyes. I don't live in a well, you do. You should come by, the rent's cheap. How Water's it... included. 
<laughs> can't be that cheap. It. It's a lot of land out there. You literally don't see anything but land in that video. Because it's mostly vertical, property is really cheap. Well, it's the, it, it's the way it's themed. Like, you turn the camera the other way, and it's condos. Sure. Which then just means that there's a lot of land rental fees to be paid for. Especially for not having your uh, well developed over. Well, I can. I'm willing to help make sense of that strange grid that uh, Alec over there is making, but you'll have to pay a price first. So long as it's not eyeballs. I've got three packages of microwave popcorn that lady left behind that I can't use. You could have that. Yeah. I eat eyeballs for a living. <laughs> Even I won't eat that. <laughs> Tell you what. Well, if you hang out long enough, someone is invariably going to show up to kill me, and you can have their eyeballs. What makes you think it's not me? And she'll smile with serrated teeth. Well, I mean, if you were trying to kill me, you should have tried already. I, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really here for the long game. We have to draw this out for at least like 90 minutes for people to demand their money back. Well, then I find that what I've said still holds true. Well, we could just sit here and wait. I'm a Japanese animation character. I know how to draw out time. She says, and then the camera will zoom in and slowly pan over her. Then dwing, and the camera will zoom back out and slowly pan over the Dwing, camera will zoom in and slowly pan over you. Oh, gosh. So much camera movement. I can do this for hours. I used to be on Dragon Ball. That's fine. Uh, when the camera pans back over to her again, I'm going to trip the cameraman. Wah! Make a zany roll. Oh, shit. You six. Uh, that's a minus, uh, <laughs> minus two to that, because for some reason I typed in plus four. I don't know why. Okay, well, you'll succeed. Okay, so Alec, unfortunately, is a complication. He's put together this huge list on his um, mood board, I suppose. Uh, and and tangled all of the twine, and unfortunately wrapped himself up into a cocoon, so he needs someone to free him. I, I think I figured it out. I just need to get someone to get me out of here. If I can help. Somehow. Uh, Wilfred, what skills do you have useful in freeing Alec from twine? Uh, well, I can definitely stand beside and advise uh, and tell Jordy how to properly do it. Okay. See, my brain is a total knot, so I know everything I can about uh, knotted twine. Okay, um, I guess you would make a roll. Um, I believe I'm rolling naivete. That is true. And that is just laugh, so that is 2d6. Let's see, I can roll 2d6. I have no laughs at the moment, so that comes out to 6. Uh, blurt out some loud embarrassing fact about another character, or confess my past crimes. It is never good. And I do not have any laughs to spend. Tell us one of your twine-related crimes. <laughs> well, once I accidentally wrapped up the entire uh, <clears throat> public library in twine in strange arcane patterns that caused it to open up another dimension. And, well, it flooded the market with extra-dimensional goods for like a whole week. Ah, oh, yes, I remember that. The macrame of Cthulhu. Truly terrifying to retail prices for uh, quite some time. It's haunted garage sales forever. <laughs> um, That's well, how my library card got revoked. Uh, Jordy, uh, what skills do you have in freeing Alec? From his well, before I try to free Alec, I want to wander over Oh, by over the way, him. I forgot. Jordy, you got a laugh point for tripping the camera. Alright. Uh, before I... Uh try to free Alec. I'm going to wander on over to him and say that my friend here says she's more than willing to figure all this board thing out for you. Uh, just as a price that needs to be paid. I can explain it just fine. I can tell that, but I mean, she could probably do it faster. Better, even, maybe. 
We need to do some help here. Right, okay. So you're willing to pay the price? What price is that? Uh, are your eyes? What a minute! Was that, that was, that was a yes? No! Okay, clearly I think I heard a yes that time. Uh, Spooky Girl will raise her little clawed hands and say, no, no, it's not cool if he's not into it. As a Japanese cartoon character, that's one thing I always abide by, and that's consent. Okay. <laughs> Seems legit. Um, here, I'll help you, says this man in a business suit, and he, and he slowly unwraps Alec. I'm used to dealing with string and red tape. Who are you? Uh, uh, I'm the lawyer from uh, 20th Century Fox. Okay. <laughs> Quick, Sudoku! Beat it! He's here for you. Uh, no, we're, par we're a different studio. You sure? No, uh, I'm I'm here for something else, he says, and then goes to stand in the corner. But, yeah, but uh, weird, uh, you know, uh, uh, and it's spooky anime girl, and the rest of you can stare at this bizarre pattern of threads uh, that go everywhere, but there doesn't seem to be rhyme or reason. People who rent horror movies, uh, people who rent, uh, you know, direct-to-video cartoons that are knockoffs, people who rent asylum pictures... Uh, people who rent those family movies that are always like have the dove reviews on them that you know are the only movies they're allowed to rent the, you know like all these there's no unifying theme it's just you know people are just randomly dying that's odd you might have to do some sort of legwork or something like that just the actual data itself isn't helping or you might have to try something else I haven't thought of legwork uh Yes, legwork is something. Well, I guess we could always go and uh, check out their places and see what else they have. Listen, I mean, they're I'll dead, be... so they're not going to disagree. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm hearing something right now. I'll be... I'll... Oh, okay. Uh, Wilford will pick up his couch and take it with him to go do investigations. Why do you need a couch to be investigating? Oh, I mean, it pays to be comfy. I can't refute that logic. I actually have to give you a laugh point for that. <laughs> okay, so Wilford, the couch, Jordy, Alec, and Spooky Girl hit the streets. Uh, what skills do you have useful in doing detective legwork? Uh, good point. Absolutely none, that's for sure. Uh, but maybe I, mean... I could use a special power. Hmm. Like well, just... doing this kind of uh, work would probably either be your cool or your sly. Uh, I think I could probably go with cool or... Well, actually, they're both plus zero. Uh, it's, I only have minus two sharp. So let's, let's go ahead and give that a roll. Let's see if Wilford makes a good backup detective. The answer to that is no. Uh, nope. Guys, I created some more evidence over here. The couch hit someone in the head. Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, nothing, nothing, and, you know, just Wolford uh, kicks a body behind an alleyway. You didn't miss anything. Yeah. We might want to investigate some, though. Wilford's been doing the couch gag of swinging couches around. Okay, okay. Uh, leg work, then. Uh, let's let's go, go to a red box. Okay. Uh, they're everywhere, so you will easily find one. Oh, here's one right around the corner. Yeah, I figured the, the nearest red box. Like, hmm. I look, I look at it, like, hmm. You know, look at the. I look at you know, look at the options. Look at the look at the actual machine. You know, look at everything. Hmm. Yep, yeah, it has a selection of both you know, um, you know, new movies as well as classics and entertainment. Why, really, red box is your best entertainment value for your dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comp yeah, yeah, yeah. Product trailing. I just started to look for this anything supernatural, something weird. Okay, what skills do you have useful in investigating red box machines? Are you an authorized red box technician? Uh, no. Okay, uh, I guess this would be a cool check then. Five. Um, 
I, I guess this has to have the scene, you know, like, well, I'm not really a technician, but I'm, how hard can it be? And, of course, you'll have to sit there and push a single button, and the machine will have to go wham and fall on top of you in just a single frame. Take a lump. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Beep! That's one hell of a non-Redbox proficiency problem you've got there. <laughs> well, I know the best way to... Uh to deal with these red boxes, especially when I don't have any money at all. And, and that is? Instead of lifting the box off of him, I'm going to go ahead and just rip off the back with toughness, and Make then pull him out straight through the entire uh, red box thing. Make a tough roll. That sounds like a tough roll to me. Whoop. Ooh, 11. Wilfred's wow. pretty strong. Okay, you succeed. Um, DVDs bounce around all over the place. There you <laughs> go. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> uh, a wide-eyed cartoon kitten person will have to watch the shiny thing. Think of, Ooh, what's this? He says in a little kitty voice. Hey, can I look at? Can I look at that? This seems plot important. Okay, what is it? It doesn't taste very good. Oh, it's a DVD. What's that? It's what they used to have before digital media took over everything. Ooh. Neat. Can I have a quarter? Uh, I, uh, uh, my, my pockets are empty right now. <laughs> and Spooky Girl will say, I'll give you a quarter. I don't have any price. quarters. I just have the $12 I got paid for doing football yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, $11.59 taxes. <laughs> Ah, those darn taxes. Um, hey, I know you. You're Wilfred from the big game. Yes, you I know? am. And Wilfred will go ahead and pose with his hands on his hips and like tilt like thirty degrees to the left. I'd be in school if it wasn't for the Nash for the city holiday declaring passing with Coach Rowell. That's so sad. Is it true he just went away to a farm? He'll be back, right? Uh, yeah, I went to a farm once and I came back, and that went great, especially after that factory went up in flames. I need you to make a cool roll, Wilford. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can comfort a child about death. <laughs> well, he doesn't, like, you know, he's not traumatized any further. I mean, he's not coming back. He bought that farm. He's gonna live there now. I wish I could go live on a farm. You could. Spooky girl says, ah, I, can, I can help you buy the farm. Yeah, she'll trade you real well for those eyes of yours. Really? Those big, juicy kitten eyes. Yeah. Hey. Spooky, spooky girl's already drooling on the ground. Uh, am I aware of what Spooky girl actually is? Uh, you've been freed. You've been pulled through the machine. So you are free and able-bodied. Yeah, I look at I look at the spooky girl, and do do I think she's just creepy, or do I realize it's you know what she? <laughs> oh, she's totally an eyeball eating monster. It's like uh, da, 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 I I go, I try to protect the child. Like uh, da, 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 why don't you go off in the play somewhere? What skills do you have useful in saving in a, a wide eyed wayfish child from an eyeball eating monster? Uh, sly or maybe cool. Uh, either of those would work. I don't know which is better, your sly or your cool. Me neither. Well, you know your character sheet better than I do. Oh, well, cool. Cool, definitely. All right. Try to be cool about it. Ten. All right. I'll, uh, sigh. I'll let you off. The spooky girl says, I'll let you off this time. But you owe me one, Alec Paranormal Investigator. Well, so, now that two, we have the really. red box open, is there anything weird about the inside? Uh, yeah, it's, um, well, like, besides these weird discs that it's filled with, it's also filled with, um, uh, I guess, strange electronics. Like, wires and stuff. Yeah. I, I, try, I try to find anything paranormal or weird about it. 
Okay, uh, go ahead and make a paranormal investigation roll, which I believe is sharp. Actually, it's weird. Oh, it's zany. Right. Okay, go ahead and make a roll. Uh, a line starts to queue up behind you guys. Are you going to go Seven. on long? I have to rent movies to black out. Uh, eight, 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 it's eight. It's eight? Okay. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything unusual about the machine. It's, uh, it's people, it, you know, it dispenses DVDs. It burns movies for people so they can go ahead and watch them. And there's actually a queue behind you of people lining up, you know, to go ahead and get movies. Once again, to drown out the horror that is our lives. Uh, leaning over the machine, would there be, like, a copy of specific movies in there as well? Um, usually it burns them on the fly, but I guess so. Why, are you looking for a specific movie? Yeah, uh, the movie All About Eve. All About Eve? All About Eve. Okay, um... A 1950s uh, drama. Go ahead and make a zany roll. Ten. Oh, yep, it's right there. All right, I'll pull that one out. I'm gonna you walk don't over. Think these people are watching 1950s soap operas and uh, dying in the process. Do you? No, no. I'm gonna walk over to the uh, the ring girl. I'm gonna sit on the couch with her for a moment. Okay. Yeah, you brought your own couch. Is yep. That was handy. Thanks, Wilford. Well, I just imagine that me and the ring girl have just been sitting on the couch while Wilford's been, you know, hauling it along. Right. Uh, I think and you're this just gonna is going to do the trick. And you're just going to start watching the movie? Uh, no, no. I'm just going to sit there and talk to the uh, the ring girl about all about Eve. Don't worry. This will pan out later. <laughs> just leave it for right now. Starting a romance with ghosts. All right. So says the you know says spooky girl. Would you like to see what your face looked like before your parents were born? And she'll smile with all those teeth. Don't really get that one. So I'm gonna say no for right now. Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah. So Alec, not only do you have an angry throng of crowd here, uh, you know we're an angry throng. I thought we were a mob. We're really more of an assembly. Anyway, they've all gathered and they're mad at you because you won't, you know, you're messing around with their machine and it doesn't seem like you're discovering anything. Uh, come on. Come on. I kick it. Um, oh, okay. Uh, make a kick machine roll, which is your tough. Well, I ain't going to fail. Well, we are cheap animation production, so you'll kick the machine, and of course the machine will go wham and fall on you again at the exact same one frame animation we used last time. That's another lump. And I'll also give you a laugh for that. Rule of threes and all that. I think Alex should probably leave the machine alone by now. Yeah. I think I'm right. Um, the angry mob uh, will uh, re will stand the machine back up, uh, and and they'll say like you know, hey, we just need to you know, um, what's your problem, dude? All you gotta do is like you know, put your money in and get a movie and then move. It's got all your favorite movies. It's all your, it's all yours, and I faint. Oh, geez, not again. You gotta take them somewhere comforting, somewhere familiar, like the scene of a dead body. Oh yeah, I've seen a dead body, says one of the guys. Was it down by the train tracks? No, in my own house. When, uh, my mother was killed when she watched a movie. Oh wow, what a coincidence. Can we come see? And then I wake it back up. What? Wait, what? See, and I knew that one. My, my, my investigator skills, you know, it's like, it's like, a clue. Tell me about it. Well, I really can't take it. I gotta go return this movie before I get like late fees. Could you at least tell me the movie? Um. Uh, man, I need a funny movie title. I'm all out of funny movie titles. Rover Dangerfield. I don't know. That's not a funny movie, and you know it. <laughs> Back to school.
Uh, how to die in seven days in an educational guide. Uh, I'm going to say Antarctic Rim Uprising. <laughs> Antarctic Rim colon Uprising Revelations. Hashtag the the Dante from Double May Cry. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, right, there's no connection. Never mind. It's about giant robots that fight uh, polar bears in the Antarctic. Oh, oh right, that's the one with, uh, oh, what was her name? She was married to Tom Cruise. Yeah. An engaging but, uh, look at our human condition. I have to return this movie before I get, you know, late, uh, you know, late fees, even though they print these on DVD, so I'm not really sure why you have to return them. Also, I can't bear to have it as my mother died while watching this movie. Just the mere thought of, you know, hearing Antarctic Rim ever again gives me nightmarish visions of her horrible demise. How'd she die? Watching this movie. No, how did she die, though? Watching this movie. No, but how did Here, she I'll die? Here, I'll pay your late fees. Well, no, no, I mean... No, she no, die, did though? she die? Um... Well, she died of natural causes. Wait a Is minute. It... As in, she was stabbed in the chest 17 times. Really would have been unnatural if she had lived. Oh, suicide then. Uh, no, not suicide. I, I know what suicide is. That's how my dad died when he fell down the elevator shaft on those bullets. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before, too, where, you know, uh, they commit suicide by shooting themselves in the back of the head somehow. But really, All over the place. Uh, I mean, she couldn't have committed suicide, because when we came home, we found the movie was paused five minutes before the end. Who could start watching Atlantic Rim and then not and then commit suicide before seeing the entire movie? Five minutes before this the end. Me. You mean the credits? <laughs> Wait, well, I thought these, I thought these hey. people died, died in seven days, not immediately before or after. Um. Huh. Maybe there's a hole in the story. Maybe it was suicide after all. You've shattered my entire world for you. Still, well, we ought to investigate something here. Well, that's why it's been seven days because I have to return the movie. Because if I don't return the movie in the next seven minutes, I'm going to get charged late fees. They're going to rep repossess I, I, my I try, I try to get Wilfred and Jordy out of there. Like, let's, let's just not disturb him. I'll uh, put you no back up on top of the couch on top of my horns. All right. So he'll go ahead and return the movie, and then rant Atlantic Rim 2, this time it's personal. I thought you said you were shaken up. Well, yeah, too shaken up to ever see Atlantic Rim again. But this is the sequel, I gotta know how it turns out. After all, that after credit stinger that was incredibly important to watch, he says, shooting eye daggers at Jordy. You'll love the third one, Atlantic Rim Retribution. Uh, I yeah. dodge. You succeed at dodging. It's like, have you seen a modern movie? All the modern movies have stuff before, uh, after the credits, and the better ones have stuff before the credits. I could always think he's saying this to me as I'm holding this 1950s drama still in my hand. Ah, uh, you must be one of them cinema files I've heard so much about. Come on, he says, grabbing the small kitten child. Can't let this, you know, don't let the cinema file touch you. Lies and slander. <laughs> And you're already just confused, like, how oh, am I going to solve this case? Yep. Spooky girl will sigh and say, no wonder you're trapped in your hellscape of cartoons, you monster. You're... What? <laughs> well, what do you think? What's your big clue on this? Well, me, spooky girl? Yes. Um, I think the mystery could be solved if you all gave me your eyes. All right, hold on a sec. I'm going to try and draw something. A life size, or what would a life size television be? Actual scale, you know what I'm saying, though. Well, these days, uh, I believe televisions are the size of the wall. Right, but I mean, if you were to say watch a movie, so that the person in the movie would be the size of you, to scale. You buy a wall, draw a wall size TV. It's a big rectangle. It's not that hard. All right, that's what I'm doing then. Um, in fact, I believe it would, you know. Um, Sorry, January 1st was the debut of Frank's 2,000-foot television, so I was listening to that. But yeah, I'm using magic art to draw a life-sized television to become real. Okay, go ahead and roll. With built-in DVD player. I am going to spend that laugh to make that a 10+. plus. 
All right, congratulations. You draw you draw a smart TV with built-in DVD player. All right, and then I'm going to pop in all about Eve. I mean, you're, well, it's a smart TV, so you know, before you pop in, say, yes, I am the ultimate entertainment experience. I can show you anything, countless bits of information. I assume it's talking out the of the, uh, I assume its mouth is the, uh, the DVD player, and I'm just going to shove the DVD into its mouth. You sure you won't want to register me first? Wow, technology sure is great. Oh, uh, so what are you watching? All about Eve? All about Eve. Okay. Which is um... one of Betty Davis's most popular films. <laughs> and I'm going to look back at the ring girl and say, there's nothing more delectable to you than those Betty Davis eyes. Davis eyes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh... And we all know Ring Girl can go in and out of televisions, so... I don't know. There was also Eyes Without a Face. Yeah, but that's just creepy. You have something against creepy people? You're my friend, so I'm going to say no. I'm not your friend. You just met me. I'm really more of a... You're a personal acquaintance. I'm not Anyways, sure. Eyes Without a Face is just a song by Billy Idol. It has no... In person connected to it, whereas Betty Davis Eyes is all about Betty Davis. No, there, there is a horror movie Eyes Without a Face. Oh, I was talking about the song that I know, not the movie that I don't. Anyway, yeah, we'll sit here and watch the movie. Man, it's a shame that the movie has to be out of frame since it's not in the public domain and we can't show any footage from it. Well, really, the only parts that we actually need are when you go into the screen and the screaming to follow. I don't know if I can plug the movie. This is a movie's a classic. Why would I defile it? Well, because we can always rent another one where you didn't ruin it. Hmm. That's true. We can rent lots of different movies. Yeah, okay, that machine will burn a new one. So they sit down to watch the movies. Alec, uh, are you going to sit and watch the movie with them or do something weird? Uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to look at Ring Girl and go... Uh. I'm just going to go with this. Better be worth it. Okay, uh, you watch the movie, and actually, All About Eve is a classic. It is. Eight point three stars on IMDb. Yep. So uh, it is uh, watching it in high definition, you know, large restored formats, definitely worth it. Um, but that only takes about like you know one hundred and three minutes. Right, which means we the have kill. more than six days left. Yep. You've got six days left to live. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, first, what was the clue Ring Girl was supposed to give us? What, the clue? Oh, he says, yeah, um... Oh, yeah, but all the different twine, uh, and all of them uh, together? Um, I actually didn't have anything, she says. I was just saying that because I really wanted to steal your eyes. I'm a monster! <laughs> Well, that was... Ah, uh, you got us again. What a lovable scamp. Now, since you guys are all going to die in six days, can I have your eyes? How about you get back to me at seven days? We'll figure out what happens. Okay. okay. You know oh, what? Wait. Actually, hold on. I'm going to pull out the script. Yep. Uh, it says everyone dies in seven days. Damn it. This script is worthless. It's always wrong. Well, we can Let's have a montage. The next scene is. We can now have the montage of how you guys celebrate your last six days of life. No. <laughs> uh, I guess Alec works feverishly to try and solve the case. Wilford, you only have six days left to live. What do you do? Same thing I do every day. Uh, so, so uh, looking for comedic relief here. Uh, uh, ah. <clears throat> so constantly panicking, apparently. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wilford runs to the street screaming, Jordy, you have six days left to live, what are you going to do? Well, I only exist in the background of other people's shots, so... <laughs> Whatever other really? people are doing, I'm busy watching them, I guess, creepily from it's a like distance. It's like hanging out on Wilford's head couch. Like, like okay. I said, Jordy, the character, is like uh, the uh, the killer from uh, Too Many Cooks. I'm <laughs> just in the background all the time. So, so, so I guess we'll like smash cut to day two, and it's like two lovers sitting there bonding over uh, over wine, and Jordy's there too, just sitting there watching them from the bushes. And then day three, uh, you know, they uh, cut the ribbon at the um, you know uh, you know inaugurating the new school for uh, the the Coach Raul Memorial School, 
uh, you know, uh, so that everyone can go ahead and celebrate in their new library and learning center, and Jordy's there. And then day four, uh, um, uh, you know, it'll be uh, um, a, mar- a married couple with their firstborn finally coming in the world. Push, Martha, you can push! And Jordy's there, too. I said anytime the camera's focused on something. <laughs> I'm there in the background somewhere because I'm forced to. It's the curse of being trapped in this world. Um, day five is when the you know the firemen are chopping down the the wall. Don't worry, we'll save you. And they you know you don't worry, we'll save your cat. One of them picks up the cat, the other one picks up Jordy and just carries him off. Somewhere in the far uh, depths of Egypt, they're uncovering some hidden tomb. Of... Yeah. But they... <laughs> That's the last point for you. Finally, the undiscovered doom, and they just open it up, and the sarcophagus, and it's freaking Jordy. <laughs> and then day seven. <laughs> my eyes are just bloodshot. You know, I I just write my farewell letters to anyone who might find them. Wilfred's probably just like sitting on the office floor, like messing with like a bunch of cards. Like, you think I should have more red cards in this deck? I mean, I really don't know about the mana balance. Uh, oh wait, right, we're supposed to be thinking about something that's happening soon. Right? Also, those are poker cards, Wilfred. Yep. Oh dang, that's really gonna mess up my magic game. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Alec a laugh point. Yes, Alec, as a paranormal investigator, you have to keep a diary that says, "I fear this may be my last entry." Every single thing you write in there has to start with, "I fear this may be my last entry." <laughs> Today, I went to the Waffle House and had pancakes, but the syrup was of no human shape. But then I found out there was barely any syrup left. The empty syrup bottle was the shape of my humanity and its desire. <laughs> Always oh, empty. No. The th- well, Aunt Jemima, save me. The three lobe burning eyes. <laughs> Is that the moment where somebody gotta, drops the Aunt Jemima bottle? Whispers there's gotta, Rosebud. There's gotta be an answer. There's gotta be an answer. There's gotta be an answer. Well, for one thing, and then uh, Jordy is going to walk over to your desk on a point to your uh, alarm clock and say, this thing is friggin' fast. It's only been a couple of minutes. Oh, yeah, says a mysterious voice. The electronic clocks, you can never trust those things. They're always synced to your like electricity, and it always goes off a little bit. <laughs> Who was there? Why, it's uh, a, uh, a figure... Uh, wearing a trench coat and a big hat, so you can't see them. It's like, oh, no one, just the killer! And I'll raise a knife. Ah, oh, no! Wait, the band or the murderer? First one, then the other. Oh, cool. Can we get a concert first? Uh, no, stabbing first. Yeah. Always stabbing first. I'll be able to hear your song. Wait a minute. Uh, and, then, and then my eyes go to show, like, wait a minute. You're telling me that you're responsible for all the killings. Um, also, Mr. Brightside. <laughs> Less talk, more killing. And he'll lunge at you with his knife. What skills do you have useful in dealing with a knife-willing maniac? Cringing. Uh, this is a grudge match. You may cringe. Okay, let me roll cool. Um, yeah, is that what you roll for, your, for cringing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everyone has a has a custom move. Wow. Who knew? What? I I actually do damage to him. Like like, I take out my uh, I. Uh, let me think. Oh, I got you, you. You have your pen and your journal out, so. I I whack the journal right into his face. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Suddenly has written you know backwards on his hat. You know this may be my last entry. No, the witty tome of your incredible purple prose is driven by pulp and cultism has knocked me senseless. Uh, he's temporarily stunned. Uh, what does anyone else want to do? Uh, 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 I'd I'd hold on to him. Uh, I'm panicking, in the meanwhile, because there's a killer in the room. Oh no, we've never seen that before. Uh, uh, and the precarious pile of cards I've been playing with 
begins to topple and probably collapse on top. Make a slapstick roll. I got ten. Well, he... attacker, but I feel really bad about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. The killer is buried underneath a large stack of cards. What do you do, Jordy? I reach behind me. Invariably to hammer space, because that's what I do with meta. Mm hmm And I realize I've got nothing in my back pocket. <laughs> well, it's Spooky Girl. Well, the problem is your pockets aren't okay. facing the camera. Okay, so even don't... worse than if Spooky Girl is in my back pocket, is I reach behind me to pull something out, and I pull... You know, I whip back around like I've got something awesome, but instead I'm, because ah! my eyes have been taken from me. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, they're mine. Delicious eyeballs. So, yeah, Jordy uh, has no eyeballs. So take a lump, Jordy, but also take a laugh, because that was hilarious. Um, okay, uh, the killer is temporarily uh, is trapped underneath uh, a pile of cards, his face obscured by a crumpled hat. Alec, what are you going to do? Well, that wasn't expected. I'll remove the hat. Uh, when you remove the hat, it is revealed that the killer is actually has a weird rectangular head with antennas and a goofy smile on his face. Do I recognize this? Um, why, yes. It, well, actually, you might not. Go ahead and uh, make a uh, smart roll. Oh wow! Of course you recognize it. It is the, the uh, it is that sad and neglected service that that has long been made obsolete by digital movie delivery. It is the dreaded TiVo. So oh, the no. <laughs> villain back from the dead. <laughs> so it was he. So it was TiVo all this time. He wanted revenge for it. So so he was imitating the ring to, to stab everyone who was watching movies. Soon, people would fear all the digital delivery services and they go back to broadcast TV and my brilliant time-shifting technology that tied up a phone line. I thought that was web TV. Uh, it's also TiVo, although TiVo used the internet. Yeah. Web TV did use phone lines, too. Yep. Well, TiVo was an upgrade. Well, I'm not obsolete. I totally have purpose in this new millennium after I murder everyone who uses everything else. I call I call Netflix girl. Redbox girl, Redbox girl. Well, Netflix girl shows up and says, "What? You, uh, I was in the middle. You know what? It's today's my day off. Why did you call me, Redbox girl? What, what are you doing here? He called me here. I didn't think we were getting along after our exclusivity. Uh oh." Uh -oh. <laughs> it's like, oh no uh, not only is a zombie he has past relationship trouble Netflix uh, yes uh, I guess it would be um, yeah Sagittarius Netflix heir to the Netflix version they both wear red <laughs> which is also more embarrassing I, I, I said let's throw, this isn't your thing you know I think that, sorry, sorry for the confusion and then I slammed the door and I go to Redbox girl Nope, I found the killer. So you did. Yeah, um, I always suspected it might... Uh, it, well, actually, I never suspected I have no idea who this is. I was a big deal in the 2000s. People used to use me to record the Jay Leno show. Who? Well, I'm glad everything has uh, ended just fine. Here is an awful lot of money for you, Alec. Thank you. Ah, and, a car, and a card for 20% off your next three rentals. Hmm. And I just go, hmm. so Oh, wow. Ride. We can use that to run some more cursed videos. Let's go, guys. Current? Did someone say cursed videos? Spooky Girl says, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> and Jordy walks into a desk in the background. Uh, yeah, I can get... Uh, I can get... But if her occult investigator, I, I negate I negate supernatural stuff. Ah, um, fine. I guess I'll go. Munch, munch, munch. Ah, delicious, <laughs> delicious pizzerias. 
So we found the killer. I mean, what are we going to do with TiVo now, though? We can't watch He's it anymore. He's kind of buried under these cards. I guess we'll just leave him here. Oh, no, the red box, uh, you know, the um, the media police will show up. Ah, and say, media police. Yes, well, he go ahead and arrest TiVo. He's an obsolete medium, so he'll be arrested for that and consigned uh, to... Uh, uh, they, they pull out a giant dustbin labeled history and just put him inside it. Also, I have an arrest warrant here for people showing all that uh, all about Eve without permission from the uh, original copyright holder. Oh, that's Jordy. He's over there. Wasn't me. You can't prove anything. And I run into a wall. Quick, <laughs> hide were... behind that corporate lawyer that's been in the corner for seven days. Oh no, I left. I was here in case you violated. Uh, <laughs> uh, I- I'm here from an unused joke. Uh, so yes, Jordy is. Uh, um, <laughs> so Jordy is arrested and put in uh, copyright prison, uh, which I guess is uh, a, a special dark place that he's released from three days later after appeals. Uh, fair use, after- I tells you. Fair use. Uh, okay, well, well, fair use, but unfortunately, you won't get paid for this episode, as they'll uh, go ahead and claim all revenues. Uh, and and you've got a blindfold, which means that you live in eternal darkness. Well, I mean, after my eyes got ripped out, that's true no matter what. <laughs> I was always going to be wearing dark glasses or a blindfold from now on. <laughs> so that's an excellent happy note. This episode was brought to you by Redbox. Um, I think uh, horrible gratuitous mutilation is an excellent place to end the game. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, so congratulations. I was not expecting this game to have that much eyeball eating. I had some fun. I'm glad it was more active. Uh, we try to involve people. So did everybody have fun? Yes. Yeah, uh, definitely. Oh, also, oh, definitely. if ever necessary, here's this. Here's what? In the chat. Oh. Words that okay. rhyme with para. Let's see what we got. Words here. that start yeah, with para. Because Ch- Chad skip the Twitch audiences. So I had some people asking about some improv stuff. So yeah, so we basically make all this up. So that was uh, that was pretty fun. So yeah, this game is designed to be really fast, loosey goosey, and I'm looking forward to taking this game on tour this year. So Ooh, yeah. yeah. So um, but um, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much it. So as you can see, have a lot of fun. You two can buy your own copy of Madcap sold wherever finer games are sold where some of the worst ones are too and uh yeah that's cool so uh, i'm gonna go ahead uh, and see a man about a horse all right all right all right thanks everybody that was fun